Hi guys, it's Rod. Today I'm going to walk you through how you can fix the problem that a lot of people have with their Facebook Ads Manager where the conversion metrics aren't totaling properly. So this will be a fairly short video. Let's get into it. So as usual, if you find this content useful, please go ahead, hit the like button, and click subscribe to be notified for any future videos that I put out. I usually, I try to put out some content at least once a week. I'd really appreciate that. It really does help me out. And without any further ado, let's jump on to the computer here, which I've already got open. So firstly, I just want to explain exactly what the problem is that people have been reporting. So this is the issue here where you've got, uh, this is in a client account where we've got you can see that the return on ad spend and the conversions value here is shown, but there's no totals at the bottom. And what people are expecting is this kind of thing where you have the conversion values total, the row as total, etc. Now this is happening because Facebook made a change to attribution settings for ad sets as of January 19. So what we used to have was a default of uh, what is it? 28 day click and one day view, I think was probably the default from before. And the new default is, or the new initial default is seven day click and one day view. And then once the Apple introduces their app enforcement policy, it's going to default to seven day click. So what's happening is that some of the ad sets, if you've got ad sets that have different attribution settings in them, then the totaling won't work for the conversion metrics. So the first thing to do is just to turn on the attributions setting column so that you can see what attribution settings you've got for each of your ad sets. So at the ad set level, what we just do is we go to columns and then we go to customize columns and then you'll find a new setting for attribution and then just drag it up to the front to the first column otherwise it'll be right at the end and then this is what you'll see so as you can see here we've got some that are seven day click some of the older ad sets are 28 day click one day view seven day click so while those are all different within any particular campaign or within any ad set then you won't get any totaling happening so if you want to have totaling happening you've got to make all the attribution settings to be exactly the same. Now, bear in mind, you might want to keep your attribution settings for historical reasons. So, you know, before you change this, just bear, just keep that in mind. It might not actually be a good idea to, to change it because you want to see what the history is from a 28-day view point of view. But if you do want to make everything line up so that you can get this kind of thing where all the totaling actually works, then all you have to do is fix up the attribution settings. So I'll just show you on one of these. So if I take this uh, ad set here and we edit that and the attribution settings is way down the bottom. So you can see you can change it here. It's currently seven days after clicking. So mine are all pretty much seven day click, one day view. So if I change it and then publish, then that's what you need to go through. Now you can set these uh, for multiple ad sets rather than just one at a time. What I find is that if I select an ad set and then go down to the bottom and then um, select the attribution setting, then I can usually select it, uh, do a control click on another ad set. And, and then when I scroll down, sometimes I can get to the attribution setting for multiple ad sets and then other times I can't. So you know, so if I unclick that, options see the attribution settings available if it's if i've just got one selected but sometimes not if i've selected two i've been able to select five or six different ad sets i'm not exactly sure what they have to have in common i'd say there's got to be some things about the ad sets that have to be the same before you can multi-select on the attribution settings and change them all at once so that's it for this video that's how you can fix the conversion metrics not showing up in your ads manager now, if you don't want to change the attribution settings for your ad sets, then another way that you can 
get this is to add in a ad set delivery is active filter to your ad sets view and then if you're only showing ad sets that all have the same attribution settings then your totaling should show up for things like purchases conversion value and purchase return on ad spend so if you've got any questions please drop them in the comments below if you've got anything else that you want me to do a training video about please also add that into the comments below if you found this content useful please click the like button click subscribe and the bell to get notifications for any future content that i produce and i'll see you in the next video